Todd Horwitz joins us now. He's with Average Joe Options. Good morning. And there has been some selling in this market, my friend. Good morning, Angie. Yes, there has been some selling, but, you know, very muted. If, if you take a look at the bigger picture, we're really range bound between 1680 in the S&P on the downside and 1700 on the upside. And, and in the last nine days, we have not violated either side of that. So although it feels busy, we are lacking volume and volatility. Yesterday was a little bit of a sell off, but it certainly didn't get carried away. And it, it certainly wasn't done on any real volume or any real panic. And you're my bear on the show. So that sounds like a mild situation to me. Moving into inflation. Some inflation numbers came out yesterday. We also heard from a Fed president saying that we might see some runaway inflation in the distant future, perhaps. What do you think? There was a bit of a move in gold yesterday. Well, you know, gold did have a nice move, and it's it still got, I think it's still got a pretty good resistance level, about 1350. I think the Fed now is scrambling. I think the Fed is in trouble, and I don't think they're going to be able to taper so fast, and I think there's going to be a problem. I think we have more of a problem of deflation or disinflation here as what they've done because they have not created any growth, so there's no real movement in the markets through money. It's all been done artificially. So although Bullard came out yesterday and said something, what we're really seeing is that the interest rate market itself is pushing interest rates higher, which is counter to what the Fed wants to do right here. And I think the Fed's in a little bit of trouble. And I think this meeting in September is going to tell a big story. But I think the market's looking for a pretty good sell-off once we get things rolling here. Thank you for your time today. Have a good trading day. Thank you. You too.